Aura Curation is the place where you can find the best and worst auras the Roblox Souls RNG community have submitted. There is a whitelist section, which means auras have been approved. However, we'll be saving that until we're closer to Era 7. But Era 7 progress has also just been updated. The full content plan of Era 7 hasn't fully been completed yet. But bro, what the hell are they cooking? However, there is two new biomes coming. Please don't be like Glitch. And if you can remember the painful way wait for era six word is still missing and wait this is new nova is planting grass stones and trees so yeah this is way too early to look at so you know what let's have a look at the best and worst or as the souls rng community have submitted but don't forget the eighty thousand subscriber bounty was hit so today one lucky subscriber will be getting ten thousand robux all you have to do to enter is leave a like on the video comment down below your username and of course subscribe so if you want to join the previous winners, keep hitting that subscribe button like it's the roll button. Before we get into the aura curation, I was going through my DMs and people have cooked loads of different auras, including a Hypervolt, an Arcane Dark in one night, to a guy subscribing and getting Matrix. But wait, I just got the DM that there's a fifth glitch owner, and if I click it, it should be legit. I have not seen this video before. The name lines up i think it's legit so right now he's just got a star scourge which is that a 1 in 15 million or did he have universal i guess he just got a 1 in 15 million oh no wait it's glitch so it's a 1 in 1 million all right so he's added all the potions second heavenly two and he gets a glitch the fifth glitch owner in the world is him and that's not me saying him he is him and look at that bro was on his phone pulling glitch imagine he doesn't even say oh my god he just says i got it he is him he is honestly him that is brilliant he said, I got it after subbing to your channel. The look is real. Come on, if you don't subscribe now, I have no idea what you're doing. He is him. What do we have here? The first one, Disco by Banbox. Is this the real Michelin mascot? <laughs> Fire, 2 FPS, truly a Souls classic. Minus 100 out of 10. Sigma, I'm not even going to say this part. I'll say Kaisenat though, the goat. Anyway, what is this? What? How oh, is that even an aura? That's just bro war. Working on some disco tiles. Also, I'm gonna have to mute the song because I'm gonna get bad and he fell off. Okay. No words needed for that absolute monstrosity. What do we have next? We have Gaia. The good notes are beams and trails for rotating orbs are nice. The star is nicely decorated. The ground aura and swing are nice. Wait, there's a swing on this. The colors contributes to the calmness theme of the aura. Okay. Bad free keyframe animation. The core of the orbs are just 2D flip books. What does that even mean? A seven out of five, cool aura. Let's have a look. Wait. I actually like that a lot. That is really clean. And the swing as well. Let me replay that. There's planets going around. Gaia's like Earth and... That's not a word. That is not a word. How do you pronounce that? What? I thought it was a god, not something from Marvel. How can you describe the Gaia definition with a Marvel character? Doesn't it just normally mean like Earth god? Anyway, that is a very cool aura. I actually like that a lot. A few little changes and that'd be perfect. All right, what is this? Sandstorm by CF Edits. Fire description. Three minuses. What is this monstrosity? Another X. Bro is not an edit. I mean, it's literally in his name. Come on. He's CF edits. Anyway, let's have a look at this. What? Is this sand monster layers or something? What's going on? Bro, what is this? You had the audacity to put 31 million as well? I mean, if you're just going to do a troll over like this, just put it like 69 or something. Do a funny number. Like, what is going on? What did the post have to say? Rarity 1 in 31 million. All can be limited. Bro, if this was a limited aura, I don't even know. Animation, I don't know how to animate. Is this guy trolling? It's like layers with the shakes, but in-game is normal. What? I want whatever bro's on. Bro, and we've got another one. Another bad aura. A 0 0.39 out of 10, and it's called Awesome Source by Awesome Possum. Um, you know what? How are you being so mean, bro? He's literally made some Awesome Source because his name is Awesome Possum. Don't be mean. He said you tried. That's nice. Got a little star. I really like how it's pink. What are the positives is I like how it's pink. Is giving. Is bro actually awesome source? Preach queen. Please never make an aura again respectfully. Oi, that's just rude. Let me check this out. I mean, it's different. Like, that's definitely a troll one. Because look, in the background, you can see bro has been cooking. Bro has been trying and cooking here. This was probably just a concept of a troll. And you were rude. Curator, you were rude. Saying please never make an aura again. 
I say keep trying until you make something good. There is no such thing as failure. You got this, awesome possum. Impeached rework by Frey and Sino. The overall atmosphere of this impeached is much better and feels more like a 200 million aura. The hind star is considerably more detailed and the new sigils on the aura are much more fitting. The crescent usage and pulsing star look phenomenal. New floor aura looks awesome. I love the energy of this aura. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of compliments about this. What's the negatives? Debris is really slow compared to the rest of the aura and feels out of place and is unlike impeached. The balls around the player are good, but it doesn't really resemble impeached. It's missing trails, blah, 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 blah. All right, anyway, respect the curator for doing a lot here. But what's the aura like? I mean, that's clean and I can see what they mean. Where are the trails here? This looks very, very clean, but I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't this look more like a one in 50 million than a 200 million? I kind of like impeached how it is now because it's almost like a big mess with loads of trails and stuff. I don't know, that doesn't hit the much as normal impeach to me. In fact, let me have a look in case I'm tripping. No, look at this, bro. That looks insane. It might be 120 FPS right now, so it's spinning super fast, but that looks like a 200 million. There's a lot going on there. Where is this? I agree, the particles look amazing, but it needs those trails. It needs that mess, that swirl, that like big flex moment. Overall though, I agree. Really solid effort. I like the rework. I just feel like it doesn't feel enough like the original. Okay, the curator, when I finally took a few seconds to read it, agreed with what I said. I wish I had more in common with Impeach, but it's certainly nicer and overall more polished. Yep, I agree. Curator, absolute W take. But overall, that is a cool aura. You gotta admit, I respect the hard work the developer's done. Chicken by Jason, brackets Jason Reap. Can we appreciate the effort that was put into this masterpiece of an aura? From the delicate strokes of color that dance around the room to carefully curated scents that... Bro, bro, what is bro on? What is going on? I just read linger in the air as well. Well, this guy is definitely trolling. This aura is clearly inspired by me, aka Chicken Horsey. Amazing song, illustrates the aura perfectly. The glow in the center of all the chickens. What is this? Wait, what? Oh my god. The song is perfect. The aura is amazing. Yeah, I can see what he means by that glow in the middle. That looks absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Bro, what is this? Why has no one made a full troll RNG game yet? Like, aura is just like this and it's a complete mess? I'd actually love to play that. Go chicken, go shouting head fire emoji 100. What an absolute W. Oh wait, I thought he was trolling with his name being Chicken Horsey. It actually is. But it was actually called Chicken Horsey. Time Drive by... Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Particles achieve a fast-paced aura really well. Great use of flip books and debris. I have no idea what a flip book is. When I was at school, a flip book used to be something you colored in. And colors are neat. Animation is good. Spinning orbs. Okay. Overall, sounds like a pretty decent aura. 7 out of 10. I kind of like that. That looks like something which comes out of like anime RNG or something. It's not as polished enough to be a Souls RNG aura, but it's definitely on the right track. I like the idle animation as well. I love unique idle animations. Just the way bro is floating there. Really cool. And wait, these cogs, I like the detail on this. I don't know if it actually fits the aura. I guess because it's called time drive, it makes sense. I don't know. It doesn't fit that much to me, but I think it is really cool. Definitely on the right track. You know what? Just chuck these cogs in Matrix and call it a rework. Come on. Where's the Matrix rework at? Dark Mewing Alpha Sigma by I Got to Ban at 2.5 million Chromogenesis. Not gonna lie, bro. After reading all of this, I think I can see why you got a ban. And it only got a 1 out of 10 because he's a Mewing Alpha Sigma himself. Bro, I love this chicken horsey dude. Anyway, let's have a look at this. Um, I've not even clicked play yet. And why is there a werewolf with another werewolf in the shadows with three stripes like it's a monster energy? Wait, what is this? What? What is going on? Who even makes this, bro? At least do a flushed with a mewing emoji or something. What is going on? And bro's just zooming on the werewolves. And wait, his name is literally Fart Lover 311. Oh my god. Cybernetic by Neon the Noctis. I love the cyber style wire mesh orb. All right, there's too much. There's too much reading going on right now. I've been reading too much for this video. Let's just check out the aura. There is a lot of points and we'll see if we agree with them after. Look at this. What is this? I actually don't know what that is. There's P the cybernetic. I actually really like that. I think that's clean. That's very clean. What did they rate this? 4 out of 9 out of 10? Let me keep watching and see a few of the points. So I think that is very, very nice. It definitely needs a bit more polishing, but I'd say it's 7. But again, I have no idea anything to do with auras. I just think something's cool. And I'm like, you know what? I want that. And for 1 in 10,000, I'm saying worth. Double the rarity of Starlight. And obviously looks better than Starlight. I agree with that. So what were the bad points? Quite a bit of Crescent spam that doesn't really 
really have variation. Top particles are really unfitting and don't look good. Beam things on the leg don't fade out correctly. Oh, that's what that is, bro. I thought this was like some teaser to the aura. Do you know some like cool little art getting you hyped? Floor aura is not very good. The particles look weird and buggy, which you don't want. Same applies for the crosshair detail and star. Oh my god. God, I didn't even notice half of this stuff. But I'm not gonna lie to the untrained eye, which is my own. I still think that looks kind of cool. This is why I'm a content creator, not a curator. Exotic Void V2 by Super Y Fly and Tower Battles Guy. Fixed cons, less messy, looks quite clean now. Animation is really nice. All aspects of the aura have been improved. Very well done. Oh, okay. I'm excited. What's this? Why do exotics have the best auras in Souls RNG? And wait, does that say what? One in three million. All right, here is my concern, okay? First of all, that is really cool. But you're telling me all of the current exotic auras in the game or the whitelisted ones only have one wing. Why are you gonna finally give the two wing exotic to a one in three million? You need to at least give that second wing to a one in 100 million. Come on. I've always wanted to see an exotic with two wings. But honestly, I am so excited to try getting an aura. Since it's less than 10 million, I can probably get that. And wait, I just realized there's a sword with it as well. How is this a 1 in 3 million? Bro, I low-key kind of want it to stay there because I want this aura. That is really good. W aura, I can agree. 9 out of 10. Absolutely insane. And apparently, this one is whitelisted as well. So we could be seeing that in Era 7. Solar Flare by Banbox. Can we just appreciate the time and effort he puts into this? 0 out of 10. I can smell a little bit of trolling and look at that picture. This picture looks like an impact frame from the strongest battlegrounds, Except I have a feeling this is going to be an absolute mess. Um, what? What is going on? What? What has happened? I'm not going to lie. I don't even know how bro's done that. What is this? How has he even done this absolute mess? Has he just copy and pasted a load of things? Like, what is going on? I'm not going to lie. You're trolling saying appreciate the time and effort. But to me, that looks like a whole lot of copy and pasting, which I can say is a little bit more effort than a zero. Give him a 0 0.5. Come on. Ooh, wait. Magnetar by Vincal. A lots of positives here, including the title is really nice. It got a 9.75 out of 10. I don't even want to read the cons yet. Let's just check it out. All right, I can see what he meant by that title is clean. That is really cool. I like that a lot. Why is there a one at the end there? It had to be that guy, huh? That big head of yours. Anyway, that aura is so clean. What? I don't think it's a 9.75 though. But that is very clean. It's unique as well, which we like. I do like that a lot. 9.75. That's kind of crazy. I feel like I'll need to see it in game on the floor because this at the bottom here looks like a stand-up action figure. If this isn't translucent and you can see through, you literally look like a snow globe. So I want to see it flow more into the game, you know? can really respect the amount of effort he's done in this though. And this is why I needed to see it in game. I just noticed this really cool galaxy effect. I thought it was just the background he did. Now I can, I can appreciate this one a lot. Good work, aura artist. Voyager V2 by Mirrodin. Mirrodin is the guy who made the Sovereign. Fixed all the cons, nothing needs to be said. Only tiny problem is that one smoke flip book is too overused, like it's everywhere in the aura. I like that. 10 million, kind of questionable, but I do like that a lot. See, this one's way more cleaner, and since it's on a background we can fully see, it will work on the ground more. It's not like a solid block color, which the previous one was on, and I like this one more. I feel like this fits with Souls more than the previous, but the both were amazing pieces of work. Cannot fault them at all. So here is a Nautilus revamp. Okay. I'm excited to see this. New particles are very polished and cool color. New and revamp chains. Oh my god. This is sounding good. Vertical lines are nice. Lightning looks good. Lightning? I'm just gonna check this out. Wait. That actually looks cool. I wouldn't really want my character to be crouched down and bounded like that. But you know what? That is very nice. I do appreciate a Nautilus revamp a lot. In fact, if you want to see all the reworks in this Discord the community have made, be sure to leave a like on this video. Because where's the Matrix rework? Also, I knew something was up with Era 6. There is now a hot fix in two minutes to fix gear buff stacking. Did we all just cook because we accidentally stacked gear? What does this even mean? Were people having more buffs at the bottom? I have no idea. But you know what? You can always subscribe for that extra buff, which they can't remove.